Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to create a static web page to be the home page of your WordPress blog. Now if you decide that you don't want to use the blog functionality, you're going to do this and only create the first page but not the second. But let's go ahead and pretend that you are going to use the blog functionality but you want your static page as well. The first thing we're going to do is go into pages in our dashboard and click on add new. We're going to title this first page, Home. And this is going to be our static page. We're going to set our template over on the right hand side to Default Template. And then we want to add any content we want in the front page. Once I have my content in, I'm going to go ahead and publish my page. Next, I'm going to add another new page, and this will be titled Blog, or you could call it News, Articles, or anything else you'd like. So after calling it Blog, this is going to be the page that's a placeholder to show the posts on my site. Now we don't want to use a custom page template for this page. This is going to be generated by home.php or index.php and we don't want to add content to the blog page either. We're just going to leave this area blank. Any content that is there is going to be ignored and they're only going to see the title when they come to the page. And we're going to go ahead and click Publish. Next, we're going to go to the Administration dashboard. We're going to go down to Settings and we're going to go to Reading. Here you'll see front page displays and we can choose whether to use our latest posts or a static page. And the static page that we're going to use is going to be the home page. If you want your WordPress site to have a blog section, you can set the post page to the page that you created for the blog, which is right here under blog. Then you can choose how many blog pages you want to show it the most and how many syndication feeds you want to show. And then for each article in the feed, you can either show a full text or a summary. And then just leave your encoding to UTF-8 unless you know there are other encodings that will work for you. And I'm going to click on Save Changes. Next, I'm going to go down to the permalinks. And I'm going to enable the permalinks to show the page title and the address, which will be right down here under Post Name or you can choose a category base and a tag base and then save the changes. So let's go ahead to our home page and see what pops up. And sure enough, there it is. Our home page now says this is my static page for WordPress Tutorial Hub and visitors will see this page first and then our comment section underneath. So that's how we change it. So instead of a blog page coming up first on our site, we have a static page come up. And a lot of people like to use that because it could look a lot more business-like and professional than just having a blog on your front page. So I hope this tutorial helped you out and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for listening.